Hi, BJD readers. Welcome to our article. My name is Yuan Shen Huang. I'm a third year dermatology resident at the University of Toronto, and this is my co resident, David Crytoro, also a third year resident at the University of Toronto. So, the title of our article is The Quality of Reporting in Systematic Reviews Published in Dermatology Journals. As you know, systematic reviews are considered the gold standard of evidence in the healthcare field. They serve not only the clinicians, but also the patients and other stakeholders by summarizing the best available evidence in a particular subject in the medical field. Previously, it has been shown that by adhering to reporting guidelines such as PRISMA has led to improved transparency and reproducibility. However, to date, there has been no study looking at how well the systematic reviews published in dermatology journals adhere to such guidelines. And this was what we were aiming to address in our uh, study. So to do this, we identify all systematic reviews published in a five-year period of time in the top five dermatology journals by impact factor. For each article, we assess how well selected items were reported according to PRISMA guideline. In addition, we also identify whether there was associations between the quality of reporting and determining factors such as the year of publication, the funding source, or whether there was a pre-registered protocol. Of systematic reviews published in dermatology journals, journals all had at least one inadequately reported item. We also identified certain items that had trends towards underreporting. Encouragingly, adherence to the selective Prisma items that we evaluated did improve over time. We also found that systematic reviews with, that pre-registered their protocols, as stated by the authors, were associated with better adherence to Prisma reporting guidelines. It is important that systematic reviews be transparent in their methodology so that readers can understand what was done and why. We hope that our data identifies pitfalls in the current uh, reporting of methodology by systematic reviews in the dermatology literature and improves this going forward. We also hope that it encourages authors and journal editors alike to encourage uh, pre-registration of systematic reviews uh, given this association that we identified. Thank you very much for reading our article. We hope you enjoy.